Let me tell you what the experiment is. He saw me lining up all this stuff. This is pretty cool <laughs> because we get to actually see a reaction go here. I've got a balloon on each of these flasks, and inside the balloon is a small amount of magnesium metal. All right. Now, in the flasks themselves, is each of these has exactly the same amount of hydrochloric acid, which is HCl aqueous. HCl is actually a gas, but if you dissolve it in water, you get hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium, as you'll see. Now, the numbers you see on the fronts of the flask are the masses of magnesium in each of the flasks. Okay, so we've got no magnesium in this balloon. We've got a tenth of a gram here, two tenths of a gram, half a gram, two grams, one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.51, 1 1.5, and 2. Helps if you put them in order. All right, so uh, I'll dump the magnesium in, in the hydrochloric acid. Oh, okay. There's a tenth of a gram. And, uh, you can see it going, can't you? Now, what I didn't tell you was the fun part, which is that when magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid, it makes what? I'll let you think about that for a minute. What's happening here? See if we can figure this thing out. Well, of course, there's no magnesium here. Tenth, two tenths, half, one, one and a half, two. Now, they're still going a little bit here. We'll let them go. They're not going to go too much longer. And by the way, what's one of the products of this is hydrogen gas. That's what's in the balloon. Now, I'll write over here, magnesium plus HCl gives hydrogen plus something, and what would you guess the something is? Magnesium chloride. Now, I'm going to put MgCl there, and let's see if we can figure out, we, we haven't balanced an equation or anything, but we'll see if we can figure out how to balance this equation. It's just about done, just about done. There's just a little bit of fizz in here. And by the way, these flasks are hotter than blazes. I mean, they are hot. So, we add more and more magnesium, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, until we get to this point. And then what? Yeah. So, something is limiting the amount of hydrogen that we're having given off here, right? So, what do you think it would be? Because we keep adding more and more magnesium. We've got plenty of magnesium, don't we? In fact, I can see little flakes of magnesium down here in the flask that have not reacted. Okay? Here, too. So the acid, the hydrochloric acid is, and you can see it with your eye, right, is the limiting reactant, isn't it? Because we have used up all of the hydrochloric acid in these three balloons, and we can't get any more hydrogen gas. Okay? So, divide this in half. Here, 
from this point on, the limiting reactant is the hydrochloric acid. What about here, 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 and here? The magnesium is the limiting reactant, right? We got plenty of excess hydrochloric acid. In fact, we don't get any here because there's no magnesium. That really limits it. A little bit, a little more, a little more, until we get to this point. Now, what point is that? Well, this is one gram, and one gram of uh, magnesium is 41 millimoles of magnesium, and there's 82 millimoles of hydrochloric acid. Two to one, right? So there's twice as much hydrochloric acid as there is magnesium, and that has to be a two, doesn't it? Right? Is that right? Two H. H2, so there's the balanced equation, 2H, H2, 2Cl, Cl2, one magnesium, one magnesium. We actually get the stoichiometry from the, this is a balloon graph, all right? A balloon graph, a plot of the amount of hydrogen, essentially, that does this thing. All right, now, let's have some fun. Go back. No, it won't go back. All right, boys and girls, when he gets that look in his eye. In case anybody asks you, this is why I got into chemistry. <laughs> Oh, hey. That's pretty good, wasn't it?